Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be. Of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. During the Christmas season, children who celebrate the holiday all over the world eagerly await the arrival of Santa Claus, who, as we all know, gives them presents and treats if they are well behaved. In nations of Central and Eastern Europe, however, children are given an additional catalyst to behave each year. Should a child be guilty of mischief, greediness, or other forms of misbehavior, they have to answer to a figure named Krampus. Seen as the ruthless ally and character parallel of St. Nicholas, Krampus had the job of punishing naughty children during the Christmas season. His appearance alone was enough to frighten most children into behaving proper. Often, he is depicted as a large half-man, half-goat demon with sharp, curved horns and cloven hooves, not unlike the Christian devil or the satyrs of Greek mythology. Other monstrous features of his include unkempt fur as dark as pitch, iron claws, a mouth full of razor fangs, and a long pointed tongue. He was also said to be adorned with heavy chains that he'd rattle for a terrifying effect, bells that would sound ominous knells, and a bundle of rutin with which he'd dispense his brand of punishments. According to folklore, St. Nicholas and Krampus would travel the region together on the night of December 5th, known to Germanic peoples as Krampusnacht, or Krampus Night, that precedes the feast of St. Nicholas on December 6th. It is at this time they would visit the homes of all the children, and while St. Nicholas would attend to dispensing gifts to the well-behaved, Krampus would eagerly proceed to deal with the misbehaved. His punishments tend to vary by traditions, and even the severity of the child's antics. Some stories have him leave coal or bundles of rutin in lieu of presents, while others say he mercilessly beats the children with the rutin or the coal. When the children wake up the next morning, they are left to either play with their new toys or nurse their newfound injuries. But according to some darker tales, the children Krampus targets never wake up in their homes, as Krampus had stuffed them into his sack and dragged them back to his lair in hell, where he'd proceed to torture or even eat them. Due to his cruel nature and his eerie similarity in appearance to the common depiction of Satan and other demons, the Catholic Church and other organizations have tried to ban the character of Krampus from all Christmas time traditions since as early as the 12th century. But the legend and traditions of Krampus have endured well into the 21st century, with celebrations and parades taking place in Europe to honor this dark yet fascinating figure of folklore. 